There we go. Hello, Emilio is a really stupid boat, and it is stupid in the absolute best way I can possibly imagine. Um, there are people out there who don't like the Paolo, and that's okay. I'll tell you why they don't like the Paolo. It's really swingy. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's really bad. I have managed to have a pretty good time in the Paolo. I have got 63 battles in it, and for me, um, it's treated me really well. I've got 2.2% better wins in this than I have on my account overall. Um, which isn't a huge margin, it's not an amazing gap, but given how swingy and how dangerous it is to run this boat, um, I'd say that's pretty good. What you're looking for when you're looking for a target in the Palo Emilio is something that is a big, derpy, slow battleship that doesn't have a lot of sensors. You also want somebody who doesn't have a lot of buddies, right? So you want non-divisioned battleships without sensors. So Iowa is a great choice. Alsace is a good choice. FDG and FDG, bad choices. This guy's even in a division with a Neptune, who's a cruiser who also has sensors, which could be acoustics or radar. Danger time, danger time, danger time. Ismo is fine. Pomeran is bad. Six kilometer acoustics makes that a very dangerous boat. Now, Brindisi and I, this is actually a really good pair. If the Brindisi and I can go up on this side and... Uh, get eyeballs on some guys up there that need a couple of extra torpedoes on board. Hopefully I can happily oblige. The other thing that's a real benefit to us in this battle is no aircraft carriers. So Palo is a stupid boat. And the thing that is stupid about it is that it's extremely crazy like that. However, it is also a enormous amount of fun to play this boat. And I really, really hope uh, that, uh, uh, if you guys decide to get it, you have fun. I have fun when I win in this boat. I have fun and I lose in this boat. Um, and I, again, I hope that's the kind of thing that uh, you guys can enjoy as well. Whatever you do, it's going to be exciting. Now, you, I have seen people run it around and use it as a gunboat and just use the guns to try to get work done. And that can be very rewarding as well. Um, I'm running without speed boost right now and doing 47 and a half knots and climbing. It's like we're still climbing into 48 and a half knots. 49 knots. 49.1. I have to steer a little bit to not beach myself on this island. And the Friedrich de Grossa is a bad option for me here. I was hoping to find an Iowa and a Zumo, an Alsace. Uh, Iowa's mid, Azumo and Alsace are west. All I've got really to choose from here is this FDG. And he's got a Brindisi with him. Uh, this isn't great, but we're going to try to work with what we've got. What I should have done and what I normally do is wait a little bit more until I have a chance to see who is around. And there's the Neptune. That's actually the FDG who is in the vision with Neptune. My detector in this boat, after doing some work with my captain and ship config, is down to 7.1. Um, I do have a couple of videos about this boat on my YouTube. You can certainly watch those. I described my build and stuff in there. And you guys just saw my captain build earlier on the stream. You can certainly check that out later. I am going to try to leave these guys alone, actually. This is a little bit risky. Uh, we got a Pomeran mid uh, who is a better choice because he doesn't have a div mate. He's not on voice with a guy in a Neptune who could really give me a hard time. I'm actually going to cut back that way and see if maybe that Pomeran is a better target for me. Um, even though I just said earlier in the stream uh, or in the, in the match that Pomeran is a bad target for me. Because Pomeran is a bad target for me. I don't want to fight a Pomeran. That said, between that and these three as a team, I'd choose solo Pomeran any day. That was also just a good looking ship. Got this cool green and black camo uh, with the barber pole up front. It's a neat little boat. Pomeran's vulnerable. The islands are letting me sneak up on him as well. And I haven't been spotted by anyone yet, which is a huge benefit as well. 8.0, 7.9. He's got no idea I'm coming up. He needs my torpedoes to discover he's in reverse. That's not good. I want him to be coming forward, but he's no dummy. He's in reverse. Now, FDG is just over my shoulder as well. Let's see what happens when I pop around this corner. <laughs> His guns are close. I'm going to do a modified Palo run here where I turn away. Uh, 
um, which is going to give me kind of a bad torp angle, but it should allow me to escape. I got another 18 seconds of smoke. And I'm just going to try to get away so I, I can do a second Palo run because I just didn't have a good choice with those guys right behind me. It was no fun. Ooh, man, I always get nervous when I do those. It's so much fun. The intensity is so great. Now, I have no idea if I'm going to actually hit that guy or not. It would be rad if I did. Yeah, we're going to hit that guy. We're going to get a torp on him for sure. I don't want to watch these guns. I want to watch my torp. Two torpedoes on him, and I've been lit on fire. I'll take that. That's actually an okay run. How do we do? 30,000 damage. Mo Gator is right behind me. I didn't even see that guy, so good on him. Well played, Mogador. Got to get another kilometer away from Mogador. Doing some dancing here. Uh, this boat does not dance particularly well. Okay, not the most success. I'll take the 30,000 damage that I just got there. That was good. I actually think my team is going to destroy these guys before I have a chance to get anything done. <laughs> the, the problem I'm going to have is that we're winning too hard, and I need to set up one of these runs just so. Um, but 30k, I'll take that. I gave up about uh, 9k to get that damage. Which isn't wonderful, but it'll do. Who the heck is in there? Is that just a Fletcher? Yeah, it is. I hope you don't think that I kill destroyers, guy who's pinging on the screen. Come up with an alternate plan, pal. I'll kill this destroyer for you. How's that? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, no! <laughs> I looked away for one second. All right, we're going to do another Palo run over here on this guy. Four and a half seconds until my smoke is ready. 18 seconds until my turbo is ready. Uh, but that is all right. I want both of those at the same time. You really want to hit those two buttons simultaneously. Excuse me, simultaneously. But uh, if you don't have that choice, well, then you... You're out of luck. I'm going to have to use this guy's smoke. I'm going to hit my smoke right now. See if we can't kill this bomber. And I think we might be able to. Oh, I'm so excited. I love playing this boat. It is so much fun. I'm blind right now, which is insane. I can see nothing. But I'm just driving out here in faith. That there's a battleship out here and he's lappable. Now the question is, of course, can I turn this into a two strike? I, there's no way I can catch the Azuma. Gosh, it'd be so cool if those torps landed. Yes, I must have missed. Dang. That sucks. Oh no! Don't hit me, secondaries. I'm very carefully regulating my, my distance. That should have been a better run. If I'd have had more spotting on that guy, it would have been really cool, but I'm kind of bummed I missed. That's That guy's pretty good. He's done some good dodging. I don't know if he's actually good at video games, but he's playing well tonight. Well, playing well to avoid my nonsense joke mechanic. You never want to be chasing a battleship with any destroyer, and you really don't want to be doing that in the Palmer or in the, the Palo. Palo's fast, sure, but like it's not actually, you know, quick enough to overcome an Izumo from when you're both running the same direction. I maybe I'm going 20 knots faster than you or something, but like that means I'm effectively only moving about 20 knots. Not a very effective speed.
Trying to be careful to not get spotted. I have 800 hit points, right? That's not a goodly number of hit points. I'm regulating my distance from this guy as best I can. I mean, we're going to go ahead and clean up these guys. I don't think it's going to be a problem. But I'd just like to help some more. 31k here is not uh, an exciting Pomeran. Or uh, I keep saying Pomeran. Palo Emilio battle. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No! Leave me alone, secondaries. Leave me be. I really want to shoot him right now, but the smart play is not to do that. He definitely knows I'm here, though. <laughs> 13 seconds till smoke. 21 seconds till turbo. Plenty of time. There's not very much score on the board, and there's not very much uh, problem with minutes. Got plenty of minutes left, so I should be able to chase this guy. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. It'll be a challenging Palo run. <laughs> It's good that the Mogador is that far away. I'm going to wait till the secondaries go off once, and that is a risk I'm willing to take. Here we go. Now, in this case, I've got great spotting on this target, but I have terrible positioning. He's running away from me, and he has every right to do exactly that. My torpedoes go about six kilometers. So we're going to be able to launch all three launchers at this guy. I'm just going to put him right on the track for the first one. And then these two are going to be the ones that I try to actually kill him with. Uh, if this works, we should get we should have successfully executed a Palo run with only 815 hit points on a difficult to hit target who is trying to avoid me. And now there's nothing to do but shoot him. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Now he can see me. <laughs> Right, we got one torpedo. He's smart. And again, when they're moving away like that, it's really hard. Did he oversteer? Is he going to take two? Yes, he is. We got him. <laughs> Excellent. Very well done. I must say so. And so did uh, that guy. Uh, and not the guy I killed, but some other guy on my team. <laughs> Well, hey, we went out there and we did some Palo runs. That, that was actually a pretty interesting game. And that is dealing with some of the challenges that you have when running Palo Emilio. Um, there's a lot of setup and a lot of thinking and a lot of patience and stuff. And, it, you know, a lot of folks haven't played the Palo, but they think they understand it fully. And I don't think it's a complicated boat. I'm not here to say, no, 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 until you've actually run the Palo. You could never possibly understand the Palo. But, like, there's a lot to how to do that well. There's a lot of patience that's required that people don't understand because it's not really that great of a boat at a lot of things. But it does one thing pretty good. And I was able to pull off two successful Palo runs. Um, eating that Fletcher Torp was absolute, absolutely stupid. If I hadn't eaten that torpedo, which was totally voluntary, very much my own choice, um, I could have successfully weathered the storm of that Azumo, killed him, and then sailed back south and done more work. I could have had another opportunity. Or I could have been a little more aggressive on my Palmer push and turned towards that guy. That's Paolo Emilio. Um, not a huge battle. 74,000 damage. 74? 75? We'll take a look here in a sec. About 74, 75,000 damage. Um, we just got the one kill. Oh, no, we got two kills. So did we kill? Oh, I killed that, that Fletcher. That's right. He had like 500 hit points left or something. What did I do to that guy? Yeah, 553 hit points, um, which was pretty fantastic. So... Um, definitely a fun, uh, a fun ship to take out there and give a shot to. I'm gonna go eat some dinner because it's freaking 9:30 and I am starving. I've been playing ships for nine hours, which is way too many.